So I think male factor infertility is a very important part of the infertility workup. Up to 50% of couples who walk into our office will have some male factor component. So it's very important for the male to be engaged in the process. The semen analysis is the first part of that workup for the male. And the semen analysis has been around for 50 plus years in its current form. It is not a perfect test, but it's a great test that helps gives us a snapshot of the male um, semen parameters. There are four things that we care about when we look at a semen analysis. Volume of the ejaculate, concentration, motility, and morphology. Those are, and then we use reference ranges to determine whether the parameters are below or above those reference ranges. Just because the result for either any of those four parameters is above the reference range, that does not technically mean that everything is normal. Okay, so it's important to talk to your physician, um, particularly your reproductive endocrinologist, infertility expert, or your andrologist, to really go over the details of what those values mean. So I think it's important to put the semen analysis results in the great context of how long the couple has been trying, the age of the woman, and what, if any, other factors she might have. There has been some data to suggest that an abnormal semen analysis may be associated with up to 2% chance of having a testicular cancer. So it's very important whenever I see a guy who has an abnormal semen analysis, I really encourage him to go see an andrologist or urologist to get a, an exam just to make sure there's no underlying testicular mass or lesion that could be a problem later in his health. Men don't like to go to the doctor until there's something wrong. And we as, reproduct as reproductive medicine healthcare specialists have an opportunity to really plug men into the healthcare system. Mm -hmm.